Hello again everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, solving systems of linear equations and we're going to start uh, studying this by looking at uh, solutions by graphing. So we're going to graph uh, the linear functions and uh, look for points where they may intersect or not intersect. So when we talk about a general linear equation in two variables, right, you'll remember from your study of linear functions that we had this standard form, ax plus by equals c. And uh, you uh, were able to graph this by uh, a number of uh, methods. One method was to find the uh, x and y intercepts. And uh, so remember that graphically this is a straight line. And since it's a straight line, then there are an infinite number of points. So for example, let's suppose that I have um, a line that's through here like this. Okay, now this line here um, has is consists of a large number of points. In fact, an infinite number of points. All the points along this line would be considered solutions uh, to this particular equation. So, in other words, let's suppose that we have, um, in this case, uh, x uh, minus y equals uh, 3. Uh, so I think it's actually uh, minus x plus y is equal to 3. And so we have this uh, equation here, and so all the points along here, for example, you will see that the y-intercepts, which uh, when is x is equal to 0, we have y is equal to 3. And that was this point here. And of course, when y is equal to 0, we have x is equal to negative 3. And this was this point here. And every point along this line is a solution to this particular equation. Now, what suppose we have uh, two equations? Okay. And if we have two linear equations, right, in two variables, x and y, right, forms a linear system of equations. Now there's a number of scenarios which uh, occur when we are drawing two lines on a graph because that's basically what we have. Two linear equations and two variables is really just two lines. And so we have uh, three different kinds of scenarios that are possible. We could have uh, the, the other line coming down here like so. So let's suppose this is line one and this one is line two. And you can see here that it intersects at this point here. This is a point of intersection. You can see there's only one point of intersection and this point here is given by negative 1 and 2. So in other words, negative 1, 2 will satisfy both of these equations at the same time. So the point negative 1, 2 is a simultaneous solution. Right, a simultaneous solution all right to the equations of line one and line two all right so this is our first scenario we say this system here is consistent all right there is one unique solution. So in other words, there's only one point that satisfies both of those equations at the same time. That's what we mean by a simultaneous solution. Now, we could also have uh, this scenario. So let's go back to our line here. And we could have uh, another line that, got, that does this. Alright, so in this case here, 
uh, there's no intersection. Right, so in other words, the solution set of solutions is null or empty. And we go like this. And we'd say that this is an inconsistent system. Okay. All right, so that's our second scenario. Now our third scenario could be this. Let's suppose here's our okay, line here again. And this time, uh, let's suppose, I'm gonna change colors here so we can see this. And let's suppose here's my line, my second line. And you'll notice that all the points of the red line, all right, of uh, the red line are also points of the blue line. These are what we call coincident lines. In other words, they're really the same line, just um, just expressed in a different way. And notice that therefore there's an infinite number of solutions. For the intersection. And this is still a consistent system. So in other words, a consistent system will have one or more solutions. Okay, so uh, they're the different kinds of, um, let me just change colors back. And so they're the different kinds of uh, solutions that are possible. Now, when we are going to solve uh, two equations in two unknowns, then we can just go ahead and draw the graphs. And so this will be our first method for finding a solution. So let me roll this up. And uh, the first one we're going to look at is, we're going to use a table of values to find any points of intersection for the lines x minus 2y is equal to 2 and x minus y is equal to 4. And we're going to graph the two lines to verify, verify the solution. Right, so here we go. We set up a, a table of values. So we start with, uh, I've just put some random uh, values down there. So let's suppose I put uh, x is equal to negative 4. Then what I have is negative 4 subtract 2y is equal to 2, which means I have 2y is going to be equal to, add that to both sides, 6, and so it looks like y is equal to uh, negative 3. So that goes there. Now of course when uh, x is equal to 0, then this goes out, so I've got y, um, when x is equal to 0, I've got negative 2y, so let's put this here. All right, we're going to have uh, negative 2y equals 2, or y is equal to negative 1. Okay, when I put x is equal to 2, we're going to have um, 2 minus 2y equals 2, so I'm going to have negative 2y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so I have 2 0 and finally when x is equal to 6 I'm going to have um, 6 minus 2y equals 2 so I have negative 2y is equal to uh, let's have a look negative 4 here so y is equal to 2 right for this one over here all right we have x minus y equals 4 so when uh, x is negative 3 I'm going to have minus 3 or negative 3 subtract y equals 4. So I have negative y is equal to 2. Adding this over here is 7. So y is equal to uh, negative 7. Right, when we have 1, so when uh, x is equal to 1, we're going to have uh, 1 minus y is equal to 4. So negative y is going to be equal to uh, 3. So y is equal to negative 3. 
Okay, if we now look down here when x is equal to 3, we're going to have uh, 3 minus y equals 4. So I have negative y is equal to 1, so y equals negative 1. And when I put 6, we're going to have x is equal to 6. We're going to have um, 6 minus y is equal to uh, 4. So I'm going to have y is equal to negative y is equal to negative 2, so y is equal to 2. Right, now you'll notice here um, that looking at our table of values, we've got negative 4, negative 3, negative 3, negative 7, 0, negative 1, and 1, negative 3, 2, 0, 3, negative 1, 6, 2, and 6, 2. Notice that these two are the same coordinate pair. So this is a common point. or this is our point of intersection, or our solution to these two um, equations uh, at the same time. So let's draw the points. So we have negative 4, uh, negative 3. That's right there. We have 0, negative 1. That's right there. Uh, we have um, 2, 0. And we have 6, 2. So here's our line. Okay, so this one is our um, x minus 2y equals 2. Right, now let's change colours. And we'll draw the second line. Right, so we have now negative 3, negative 7. Okay, we have um, 1, negative 3. We have uh, 3, negative 1. And we have 6, 2. And so here's our second line. like so. And this is our line here, uh, x take y equals 4, and here is our solution. Right, so we can say here the solution to the system of linear equations Right, which are going to be x take 2y equals 2 and x take y equals 4 is the set of points 6, 2. Okay, and that's how we go about doing that. All right, now we notice that we set up a table of values and we were just fortunate here that we had a 6 and a 6 and it came up with the same y value. So what we normally do is we actually draw the graphs and we start looking for points of intersection. So let me go back to uh, blue again. All right, and let's look at the second uh, example. Okay, in this example, we're going to graph the lines by graphing the lines uh, 3x plus 2y equals 3 and 3x plus 2y equals uh, negative 1. Um, we are going to look for any points of intersection. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. Remember, we only really need two points uh, to actually uh, draw a line. So let's take 3x plus 2y equals 3, all right, as our line here. And uh, notice that we have, um, we can pick two points off here. For example, let's suppose we take y equals 0, then I'd have 3x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1. So we'll do this one in, uh, we'll have um, 1, 0. Uh, so that's our x uh, intercept. Right, right there. Right, now I could choose... Um, x is equal to 0 and it's going to give me um, 
one and a half, so we could do that. So when x is equal to zero, we're going to have two y is equal to three, because three times zero is zero, and y is equal to three halves. So I'm going to have the point um, zero th um, three halves, which is right here. Okay. So in other words, we have a line that's going through here like this. And we're coming down through here like this. Right, so that's our first line. Now let's look at our second line. Right, we have um, 3x plus 2y equals negative 1. So again, we can go with, um, <clears throat> let's suppose we have uh, x is equal to 0 then we have 2y equals negative 1, or y is equal to negative a half. So this will be right here. <coughs> Next, we have when y is equal to 0, we're going to have um, 3x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to negative 1 third. Right now, if we draw our line through here like this, and you can add other points to this too, by the way. <clears throat> All right, for example, if I put in um, uh, y is equal to uh, to one, okay, then in this particular one here, I would get three minus two is one, so x x is a third, okay, so I'd have um, a third one, okay, which is this point here. All right, but however, what you can see here is that we have uh, two parallel lines. All right, so there is no point of intersection. And so we have an inconsistent system. Now, how do I know that they're parallel? Well, you know from your work that you can work out here and here what their slopes are. And uh, if you put them in slope-intercept form, you'll notice that you get y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3 on 2. And up here, down, let's do this one here, we get exactly the same thing. And you'll notice that you have exactly the same slope, so they are parallel to each other, because lines that have the same slope are parallel. And you can see here, then, these are parallel lines. There's no point of intersection, and that's the graph is uh, actually showing that. All right, let's look at the next uh, example. By graphing the lines uh, 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals 0 and negative 4x plus 6y minus 14 equals 0, find any points of intersection. So we have 2x minus 3y. I'm going to put this on the other side, uh, 7. I'm going to write them in this form. It's always a good way to do that. And uh, let's have a look and see what we can do as far as some values are concerned. Well, when, uh, when y is equal to 0, then I'm going to have 2x is equal to 7, or x is equal to 7 on 2, which is a 3 and a half, of course, which is right here. Okay, uh, when x is equal to 0, I'm going to have negative 3y is equal to 7, so y is equal to negative 7 thirds. So that's... Um, negative two and a third, so that's going to be uh, right here. So in other words, our line, that's our first line. Now, <clears throat> let's change colours and we'll have a look at the second line. Now in this case here, we have this 
equation here. So we're going to have negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 14. So I'm going to make it equal to uh, 14. Put on the other side. And now when y is equal to 0, I'm going to have uh, uh, negative 4x equals 14. So x is equal to 14 on negative 4, which of course is negative 7 on 2. So there's this point here. Right, notice when x equals 0, I'm going to have 6y equals 14, so y equals 14 over 6, which is 7 on 3. Um, and I should have a 7 thirds. Oops. <laughs> yep, that's right, 7 thirds. Uh, so where is 7 thirds is going to be, uh, that's 2 and a third for y. So I had this one was wrong there, so that was that one. And now I want uh, 2 and a third, which is right here. And you'll notice that when we're coming down here like this, bingo, it goes right through that point. Okay, so this is our negative 4x plus 6y equals 14. And uh, when we go uh, we'll notice that here's our point of inter intersection. Okay. And uh, this line here, of course, was uh, 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals 0. Now, our solution that this is consistent, this is a consistent system. And the solution set is the point. Um, 7 on 2, 0. Notice it's a point, and we though have these uh, kind of parentheses here to show that it's a set. And that uh, you can see here then is um, how we do graphing to determine points of intersection.